It's Sunday morning, and you know what that means. It's time for a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. FIFA 20 is out, and if you're looking to buy some Ultimate Team coins to get your dream squad, make sure you check out my sponsor, u7buy.com. They provide a cheap and reliable service for coins and accounts. Link in the description. Use code Haber and get yourself an extra 5% off when you are at the checkout. If you want to be involved in an I Rate Your Teams video in the future, here's all you have to do. You have to take a HD screenshot from your console. I'll leave links in the description for PlayStation and Xbox showing you guys how to take a HD screenshot. And then all you have to do is tweet that screenshot to me using the hashtag it's Haber. I cannot see it if only at me in it. I need to see the hashtag because that's what I search for on Twitter to find the images. Give me a description of your team. How many coins have you got? What do you play in game? Um, who's untradeable? Who's tradable, for example? So I know sort of what I'm working with when I try and make some upgrades to your team for you. Uh, and make sure you follow me on Twitter. That's about it. It's really easy. Like I said, in the description, uh, it give you uh, a tutorial and uh, a brief description on how to uh, how to get involved in this series. Now, you guys seem to love this series, so uh, we're going to jump straight into it. Now, first of all, thought I'd show you my team at the minute. This is the team I'm rocking with. Um, it's not a ridiculous expensive team compared to some of the teams we've been building recently. Um, I've just brought in Mbappe, who seems to not even get goals for me. Ben Yedder seems to be the one that scores the most for me uh, in the four games I've played, and Martial seems to be getting a few goals for me too. Um, I love this CDM partnership. I play a 4-4-2 in game. I really like Endombele and Kante, but I wanted to pass the question off to you. I've got nearly a million coins, and when I sell a bunch of players in my club, I will have over a million coins. What upgrades do I make to this squad to make it even better than what it is? Please let me know in the comments down below. Regardless, we're going to jump straight into the I Rate Your Team series and go with team number one. Let's do it. Team one today comes from Kieran Birch, who, of course, does follow me on Twitter. At his Haber, hashtag it's Haber. Please remember the hashtag in your tweets, guys. Uh, untradables are Lloris, Cancelo, Endombele, and Puki, and the bench. I have 60,000 coins to spend and need some advice to what to play in game. So this is what his team is currently looking like. He doesn't know how to play in game. I think that's what he's struggling with right now. Um, he, he doesn't really know what to play in game, how to play in game. So I thought we would uh, we'd help him out, hopefully, and, uh, and sort of teach him what I would do playing in game with this squad. So uh, let's have a look. I think the 4 triple two really suits the squad you've built. I think you've got some really nice pacey cams on the wing. For example, William and Philippe Anderson both have decent pace, decent dribbling. Uh, good agility and balance are going to be great bombing down the wing. Uh, they're going to be great weaving in and out of players, for example. Um, I think they're going to be fantastic wide cams for you. Um, CDM-wise, I think that Ndombele is a great CDM. I personally use him at CDM. Um, he's nice, pretty tall, wins a lot of headers, wins a lot of the ball. Uh, strong, good at defending. Alan's fantastic on this game as well. Uh, Allen has just got really, really good defensive stats and is all over the pitch all over the time. Um, I really enjoy Lucas and I think that Lucas and Puki up top will be a good partnership. A lot of one-twos and I think that you want to play a two-striker formation to get the one-twos out of Puki. I don't think that he would benefit amazingly from being on his own up top, but that's just my opinion. And then obviously the defense is how the defense is now. With 60,000 coins, what I would personally do is look to maybe change your defense a little bit. Um, considering how you play in game, it might be a little bit harder than at first thought, but I don't like the idea of a Tongan in this team. I don't think he looks amazing this year. I think defensively he's incredible, but 63 pace. Um, I mean, he's good. He'd probably be decent on the ball and partnered with Ed Emelitao. I don't think he'd be too bad. But I would consider possibly getting Allison in net instead of Lloris because I am not a big fan of Lloris. Now, I understand you do have him untradeable, but Lloris is one of my least favorite goalies this year that I have tried so far. I would personally look to try and get Allison in net and then over at your right center back spot. I think you would actually probably do better with Joe Gomez as opposed to uh, Vertonghen. I think that although defensive stats are pretty important this year, I think that having someone with 81 pace works out so much better he always catches attackers that are really fast and strong down the uh, down the center of the pitch and he's only 2,000 coins so that's personally how i would change it to make it a bit better aside from that i really like the team and uh, i like where you're going with it i think obviously you know moving forward as you get more coins into the club you'll obviously want to upgrade potentially mohammed salah at right wing uh, or, or right cam in this team i guess um and then potentially getting upgrades for example maybe upgrading pookie to an aguero for example um or somebody else obviously if you uh, prefer somebody else in game um upgrade uh, Marcelo, in my opinion, to Ferlin Mendy. I know it doesn't sound, it sounds weird saying upgrading, but Ferlin Mendy's better. I just think that Ferlin Mendy's a little bit more expensive right now, so you don't want to spend too many of the coins. Adair Militao, obviously, upgrading eventually to uh, Varane, probably. Um, but no, I like the team. I think that you've done really well where you've got to, and, uh, and moving forward, uh, they're the changes I'd make. The next team comes from David Jerchoa. I apologize if I just uh, messed that name up. It says Iron 4 1 2 1 2 in game. 
any suggestions to improve now you haven't given me a budget of your team um but you have shown me what you play in game which is decent so let me show you guys i've built his team in game um and i actually like the foundations of this squad now going back to how you've built it um you built it in a four triple two so uh pookie's actually starts off chemistry um he's the only player that starts off chemistry but he is off chemistry nonetheless uh but i like the way you've started this team now I would make one change or two changes to this team max, I think. Uh, now, first change, I would say straight away, I would get rid of uh, Hendo and I would go with Fabinho at CDM. I think that Fabinho, you'll benefit way more from. I think Fabinho is far better of a player than uh, Jordan Henderson. He's a, a very, very solid CDM. It wouldn't affect your chemistry in game as uh, he would still get full chemistry. Um, and I think that he's a fantastic CDM in this game. He His pace, I know it seems like, oh, 68 pace is so slow. It really isn't. If you whack a shadow on him, you'll really enjoy this card. He is so strong on the ball and off the ball. Um, and he's always in the right place at the right time. And then the other change I'd make, why have you gone with Kieran Trippier? Why? Just why? You could go with literally anybody. Like, I would say you'd probably benefit better from going with, uh, with uh, Yedlin, I think. If you ask me, I would go with uh, DeAndre Yedlin. I think you'd benefit far better from having Yedlin. Uh, in terms of the price of Yedlin, I do want to quickly check how much Yedlin is. Because uh, I reckon you probably are running on a bit of a budget, given that you have gone with Kieran Trippier. Um, he's about 6,000 coins. So if you have enough coins, I would go for the upgrades that I've made. If not, then obviously stay with what you're doing at the minute. But please... Do whatever you can to get rid of Trippier and get someone better in. Because Trippier just looks absolutely awful. Even if you can't afford Fabinho right now and you have to stick with Henderson, replace Trippier. Please get a better Premier League right back in the game. Anyone but Trippier. <laughs> Apart from that, I think this card would be very good at centre mid. Uh, I actually looked at Verratti at the start of the game and thought, wow, he actually looks like he'd work really well in this game. Um, Draxler, I think, looks solid as well. Um, I've been considering using Draxler for the last couple of days in a cheaper squad. Uh, Deli Ali is one of my favourite centre mids on this game as well. He's absolutely incredible. Uh, haven't used Cavani in this game and haven't actually tried out Puki either. So I wonder what they're like up top. Uh, I saw that AJ3 was enjoying Cavani a lot. So. I, I'm be interested to see what he's like. Let me know down below, um, if you do see this video, what you think of Cavani. I'd love to hear your opinions. Uh, aside from that, I do actually like the, the layout of your squad. You've got a really solid back line apart from Trippier and, uh, and a nice midfield. So, uh, nice team. Let's move on to the next one. The next team comes from SM11 Football or Sam Meehan. Follows me on Twitter. Says, uh, hashtag it's Haber. This is my road to glory. The other photo is what I play in game. And everyone is tradable apart from Ben Yedda on Endombele and Malquit. My budget is 50,000 coins. So he starts like this, um, which is, uh, you know, obviously a, a decent start. Obviously, he's, he's changed a few players' uh, positions in game and stuff like that and, and how they start. And then in game, he plays a 4-2-3-1, uh, sorry. Um, and he plays with a decent... I, I like how you've started. Now, I'm going to go and actually make one change straight away. Uh, and this change, in my opinion, is going to be a, a lifesaver for your squad. I would swap those two straight away. I think Ben Yedda is far better in striker and Lucas would be far better in cam. And the reason I think that is because I think Lucas has got way more, uh, way better ball control. Um, I think in, in game, his passing stats are actually better uh, in terms of uh, if passing in my, I mean, long passing is better. Short passing is worse. Um, what's Lucas's vision in game? 76. Interesting. I thought Lucas would actually have better. But in my opinion, I would play like that. I think that you probably benefit better with faster cams as opposed to the faster ST. But that's just my opinion. Um, aside from that, how many coins did you say you had? Uh, 50,000 coins to work with. Ooh, I think next up, what I would do is I would get rid of Haps. Um... Let, let's get rid of Haps. And then I would go with Tagliafico. Now, I know Tagliafico had in form. Um... I'm pretty sure he had an inform, if I'm not mistaken. He did have an inform. Now, how much is that Tagliafico inform card? Let me actually quickly check on Footbin uh, how much Tagliafico's inform card is. 37,000 coins. So you can afford this card. I would personally go with Tagliafico's inform card. Stick a shadow card on him as well. And I think that you will be, uh, you'll enjoy this card a lot, I think. Um, I think that he'll play better than Haps because he's going to have better ball control, better tackling, uh, better defensive awareness, and uh, an all in all be a better card. Aside from that, I think you've got a really solid back line. Um, eventually, upgrade Ducouré for Kante, but that's going to take some time to get up to the 300,000 coin mark that Kante is. So obviously, you're going to be using Ducouré for a while now, who isn't actually that bad of a card. I did use Ducouré for eight games. I actually quite enjoyed him a little bit. Um, he feels pretty decent in game, and he's uh, he's quite strong as well. Um, aside from that, I really like what you've done with the team. And, uh, and no, keep it up. Really, really nice squad. The next squad comes from Jake Hall 98 Actual squad and in-game. Albert and tradable. Rival rewards coming soon. Hashtag it's Haber. So, 
This is how he starts. He starts in a 4-3-1-2. Um, really nice squad. Some fantastic players there. Um, and this is how he plays in-game. Now, hopefully I didn't catch this too late, obviously, with rival rewards. I hope it's not changed too much with rival rewards. Um, but I've gone and built the squad. Now, first thing I would do in-game, straight away, swap these two around. I think that Suzuko would be way better at the right uh, center mid spot and uh, Gabamin will be better as a, so, uh, a holding CDM. Now, the reason I think that is because I think that Gabamin, uh, is it Gabamin? Gibamin? I don't know how to say this guy's name. I think he's got better, in my opinion, holding defensive stats, whereas um, Suzoko, in my opinion, is better running forward with the ball, holding the ball up, uh, bringing the ball forward. So I think you want him more as a right center mid and just have them both on stay back and uh, cover center. Um, aside from that, this team is fantastic and there isn't much I would change. Once again, now, I do want to quickly double check to see if this is going to affect your chemistry. Um, it is going to affect your chemistry if you change Aurea. So maybe maybe keeping Aurea for a while. Eventually, if you can upgrade uh, Gibamine for a, a better holding CDM and then upgrade Aurea, I would say do that because in my opinion, Aurea is not fantastic on this game. I have used him for seven games. I really did not enjoy him. I thought he felt really, really sluggish. Um, Alba looks incredible this year. I haven't used his card, but he looks really, really good for this game. And you've got a really, really solid back line. Again, Larice is a bit meh, but I don't see how you can change Lloris and get chemistry so I would probably just keep Lloris there um aside from that I think it's a really nice team let me know how Puki is up top with uh uh Usmane Dembele I almost said end on Bele but let me know how he is up top with uh with Usmane Dembele I actually do like uh Dembele but more as a cam as opposed to a striker I think that his finishing isn't fantastic um as he's 79 it's not amazing so um I don't know how he'd do up top in a two-strike formation but let me know down below uh, and aside from that, I actually do like this team a lot. And I think that you've got a great foundation to move forward with. And hopefully um, soon with rival rewards or, or hopefully soon foot champions rewards, you'll be able to afford, for example, a Kante to upgrade your team massively. And then moving forward, possibly upgrade and get maybe a Messi eventually instead of Usman and Dembele. Aside from that, I think that you've got a solid team and uh, I really actually like it. I like what you've done. I like the setup. Uh, I like it a lot. The last team for this episode comes from Kevin CS. Hashtag is hey, but I'm doing a Tammy to glory. I like that. Uh, and this is my team. Marlin's untradeable, and I play 4 3 1 2 with Kane at Cam. So, this is how he starts, and he plays, like I said, 4 3 1 2 with Kane at Cam. So, we've got him built his squad. Um, and looking at your squad straight away, first thing I would say, don't think Kane's a very good Cam, uh, and I don't think David Silva will be a very good centre mid either. 73 stamina on a centre mid isn't fantastic, although to be fair, 75 isn't either. Um, now, in game, the changes I would make straight away, or in fact, the, the changes to the whole squad, I would make obviously, this is how you're starting. Uh, you're starting uh, Marlin over here here who isn't getting full chemistry anyway um the first thing i would potentially do with your squad is uh get rid of hummels for a kanji um now kanji in my opinion is a amazing center back this year he's so overpowered and would probably be a lot better in your squad than uh, Hummels. Uh, then what I'd do is obviously I would uh, change those two around to ensure that Akanji is actually on full chemistry and uh, and so is Boateng. Um, that ensures the chemistry is locked in straight away. Um, now you can't afford to have another dead link coming off Thiago because otherwise you obviously will struggle with getting the chemistry. So I understand why you've got David Silva who I think would be a very good cam this year as well. Um... That leads me to the Harry Kane. And unless Harry Kane's untradeable, which is very possible because I actually have him untradeable as well, I would move away from Harry Kane and possibly go with uh, Kovacic. And the reason why I'll go with Kovacic then is so that in-game, this is what you can do. You can you can grab Kovacic here. And then in-game, all you have to do is make one change. And just like that, you have Kovacic at centre mid, who would be a much more suited centre mid than um, his counterpart in David Silva. Uh, and then you've got David Silva at Cam, who would be fantastic at Cam. Everyone gets full chemistry and you've got Marlon up top. So that's, what, that's how I'd change your team. I have used Kovacic this year and I really liked him actually at centre mid in a four. 1, 2, 1, 2. So I imagine it'd probably be pretty similar in this formation as well. And then eventually, obviously, you can work on upgrading your Tiago for a better holding centre mid. Uh, Delaney's fantastic in this game. Possibly even just changing those two around in game might help you out a lot as well because then you've got the taller player at the middle uh, that's going to be uh, running in behind and stuff like that. He's got 92 stamina. He'll probably be better, uh, better suited for a central centre mid spot than uh, Tiago would be. Apart from that, that is the, the team I would go with if I were you. I actually really like that a lot. I like what you, you're starting with. And I love that you got my boy, my boy, Denzel Dumfries at right back. This is my absolute boy. I love him. I actually love Denzel Dumfries. I think he's fantastic. I've ordered a couple of PSV shirts with Denzel Dumfries on the back because I am that sad. Yep, that 
that's the harsh reality of it. But no, uh, nice team. Um, what I'm going to do now is actually look at a few teams without building them on my PlayStation to uh, just have a look. These are the teams that haven't got HD screenshots because I didn't want to give everyone a chance to be involved in the episodes. Uh, I won't be doing this a whole lot in the next episodes. Uh, so make sure, please, that you submit a HD screenshot because it isn't difficult and it won't take time out of your day. Um, it'll take literally just as much time as it is to screenshot off like a web app or something. So please, please, please just consider looking in the description. But I thought I would show you guys a few teams... Um, that people have sent me in just to sort of show you guys as opposed to review uh just to showcase a few more teams on the screen so uh let's go ahead and do that this team is from Luke Hawkins, who says everyone is tradable apart from Sane, Sancho, and Puki. I've got no coins at the moment. This is a Road to Glory account. I've only played nine games so far. Enjoying this team a lot. I don't have any coins at this current time. What do I need to improve on? Um, your centre mid obviously needs improving straight away. Um, and then you're right back maybe to Danny DeCosta, who's fantastic in the game. Apart from that, uh, nice. Uh, let me know how, uh, how, well, I say let me know how Lo Celso is. I actually use Lo Celso myself and really enjoy him, but not as a cam. So I'd be interested to see what he is like at cam. Now, the next one is from Keen, uh, uh, or Ed Ed Edward SZN. Uh, he said, I haven't spent any money on the game so far, and this is the formation I play in game. So, uh, I like that. Vardy's incredible this year. Vardy is a fantastic, uh, player this year. He has got a, an absolute lethal shot. Um, and he's just a fantastic player in general this year. So, so no, that is a nice team. I like, I like uh, the way you've built that squad. Now, the next one is from Ao. Uh, just to show you, follows me on Twitter. Says uh, the attack and defense play great, but I'm not a huge fan of Bruno Fernandez and Lingard. Despite them still playing decent, I have around fifty thousand coins, and I have no idea who I could use to still get chemistry. So, uh, you're not enjoying, uh, you're not enjoying Bruno Fernandez and Lingard, huh? Um. Good, yeah, uh, I see what you're saying. Let me see what you play in game. You play them as centre mids. Um, you could go with Fred as opposed to Lingard. He'll be a much better centre mid. Uh, I don't know who's a good uh, alternative for uh, Bruno Fernandes. Maybe you go with... Um, hmm, no, that wouldn't work, would it? I have no idea who you could go with this other Bruno Fernandes, but I think Fred. Fred actually is... is he's ripped me apart a few times this year. So I go with Fred instead of Lingard over at the right centre mid spot. Um, next is from uh, Keon on Twitter, who said, Hey, bro, this is my team looking to put 24,000 feed points in. This is all my team is from trading. Oh, this, this, my team is all from trading. Sorry. Nice. Replace your two center backs. You're going to get absolutely torn apart by, uh, by pacey strikers. So get rid of them too. Bring in Joe Gomez, who's about 2,000 coins, and then go with Eric Bayer, who's about 1,500 coins. Three and a half thousand coins right there on two center backs. That, like, he, and Harry Maguire's probably gone up a little bit because he wants to watch. So that's what I would do straight away. Uh, then work on possibly getting Fabinho. Once you've got Joe, Joe Gomez in instead of Harry Maguire, uh, Fabinho will get full chemistry. So I'd go with Fabinho there as well. Um, and then at left back, uh, if you could eventually trade up or get enough coins from 24,000 thief points, I would go with uh, possibly um, Andrew Robertson. Um, and then obviously that leaves Ndombele off chemistry, but I think Ndombele on eight won't be a huge problem. I like the team. Demabe, Cam, no, 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 I'm not a big fan of that at all. Um, maybe go with Muller. Muller's actually played really well against me this year. And the last team for the episode is from uh, Hay Hayakimaru. I do apologize if I have just, just like ruined that name. Uh, early access, all done, no thief points, and I play this formation in game. Now I've got around 40,000 coins for an upgrade or two. Okay, have a look. Oh, you're playing a three back. Interesting. Um, 40,000 coins for upgrades. I would upgrade your right striker straight away. And I would go with Jamie Vardy. Um, apart from that, I don't really know what else I'd do. Maybe upgrade Madison. But I mean, the only upgrade I'd say is probably Jesse Lingard, who's fantastic at Cam, by the way. Um, and then possibly work towards uh, the ones to watch end on Bele to replace one of your CDMs with. Aside from that. Nice team. I like that. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for the episode. If you guys have enjoyed, let me know down below. And let me know down below if you think that adding a few teams at the end that aren't from HD screenshots is a good idea. Um, because I, I, the reason why we have HD screenshots is because on mobile, it's going to be incredibly difficult, especially if you've got a very small phone or something. It's going to be very difficult to see some of the teams that aren't HD screenshots. For example, a lot of people might not be able to actually see all the plays on this or you know how many coins you've got for example stuff like that and i like the idea of people being able to see everything so yeah um that is why we go with hd screenshots there's nothing else apart from that so i do apologize
guys if it's an inconvenience but that's just how i've always run the series and that's how we want to run the series going forward so thank you all for your epic support thank you all for the love and support on the channel uh the last few videos have done absolutely incredible um especially and I've just minimized my, my screen for some reason. Uh, I was going to say, especially um, the last couple of videos have been incredible. So I, I appreciate the support on that. Thank you all for sticking around the channel and showing some love. I do appreciate that too. And I'll see you lads later.